weight of the DVD. Get your motherfucking weight up. Get your motherfucking weight up. Get your motherfucking weight up. It's easy to do it in your head because you're forced. It's easy to sit around and say, well, I'm going to do this. When we get in the streets, that's when your test don't come at it. When you hit them streets. Because anything going to come at you. Young girls, you know how that go. Damn, girl, come to college. You feel me? So you're going to get all off your squares. You ain't going to your, your school like you're supposed to. You're not going to be going to your program. Every, you ain't going to work. You worry about this old young girl. You get you smoke that weed. You get high. You're going to fall into the same trap. You look up. Lay back in here. I got grandsons and sons in these, in these places. And I tell them the same thing I tell y'all. So I'm not going to never tell you nothing wrong. So listen, my brother get out here. Get your life together, man. Get a good, you know, get a job. Man, I don't work at no McDonald's. I work at a meeting for maybe five, fifty hours. I don't make it minutes. I didn't want to, I didn't, I didn't tell you the truth, I didn't want to do it. But I said, the only way I'm going to stay positive and stay on the right road, I have, I'm going to have to work. And I call a blessing because my character, a lot of people like me to do that. You know, the owners of the company, look, I'm, I'm going to have you do this. So I call a blessing. I've been blessed. And sometimes you got to, you, you got to keep on striving. You just can't say, well, I ain't getting no mind. This is five, six thousand dollars. I can't get no sneaks. Now I need to do this. And if you do that, you're going to fall short. And these streets, these streets don't owe you nothing. Because when you're dead and gone, when you're buried in the ground, you can't take a car with you. You can't take gold with you. You can't take nothing. You're going to that grave yourself. Especially for the Muslims. And I ain't saying, you know, the Christians are my mother. Christians. But for Muslims, what the Prophet Muhammad say, the only thing going to the grave with you is your good deeds and your bad deeds. And your good deeds and your bad deeds leave you. When you went in that grave, Allah takes that up. So you can't take a diamond. You can have $100 million. You can't go to the grave with you. A pretty car, women, none of that can't go to the grave with you. So be mindful of all that stuff because it keeps you focused on what your goal is, what your plan is. How many, how many of the young brothers that who was incarcerated when they were 16, 17 years old is um, still up there with a life sentence? Yeah, I knew about at least maybe, maybe 20 young brothers. 15, 16 years got life sentence. Out in the street, the mom, no water. You know me and mom tell you something. Boy, the water into this. He went out there, got caught up. Some of them wouldn't even involved, but they was in the car. You know, with life sentence, doing life right now. Got, some of them got 20 years in I just got a brother that got to jail. I had a fed in 25 years straight. Straight, no. Shoot, he did 25 straight. But a lot of young brothers like y'all, they get caught up in the streets. And a lot of them in jail now, doing life sentence. You know why? They ain't, they ain't, they ain't getting nothing from them just to stick up or maybe be a robbery and a killer. And in the country, now they look back on it now. Damn, man, you know, if I had to do it all over again, I would take a whole totally different route. So y'all brothers learn from this. You know, I know some of you brothers say, man, I don't want to hear this. Hey, it's all the time. Take heed to it because once you're out there in the streets and your mother father ain't there for you, people don't care about you out there. Trust me. Yo, so take heed to it. Yo, don't sit there. I used to do the same thing y'all do. Man, I don't want to hear this. You know what I mean? I know what I'm, I know what I'm talking about. They just talking the same stuff I've been hearing. No. But the last time I listened to it, when the older brothers were telling me, yeah, man, do this, do this, man. I said, you know what? Let me try this, because why the way I was trying didn't work. Let me try this, this route. And I had to let go to bless you. So what type of sentence was you looking at? You got, um, I was facing, they gave me running criminal order enterprise, racketing, bodies. They, they were throwing everything at me because they wanted it. So they associated with JPM, right? They associated with the Uniblack you know, Black Mafia. Had my name all out there. In the CD, if y'all watch it, it'll tell you all that because that's what it's based on, you know, my side of the story. I was facing life, but all praise be to the Lord, I'm blessed by God that um, he took me from that. I had a little money, but it ain't the money. This guy, he knew, he had plans for me. I was playing, I had a plan, but he's the best of plans. That's what the Lord tell you. You plan, but I'm the best of plan. I know what you're going to do before it happens. So I was blessed. I was a blessing from the Lord that I didn't get life. And I knew guys, you know, y'all may know some of like Aaron Jones. Tone, tone, read all these guys. These guys got life. Same, guy, same thing I did, but they got life, two or three licenses on death row. I came up with these guys. You know what I mean? Telling everything in the city at the time. You know what I'm saying? I call a blessing. So I took heed to that. God told me, listen, man, you got to bless. You got to see us get back out there in the world and do something for yourself. So when I came home, like I said, I got a beautiful wife, got two beautiful kids. You know what I'm saying? I just, my whole life just changed around. Because I knew I called a blessing. Some people don't do that. Some people keep getting locked up. Oh, man, I don't care. You can't do that because you're not going to get nothing out of it. You ain't, you ain't got nothing coming. So take heed that you can go out there any day, day tomorrow and get a life sentence. 30, 40 years, you're sitting in the penitentiary. White folks are tired. So go to bed, wake up, go in the hole, eat this, shut up, and this is the way it goes.
This ain't nothing. We're going to solitary confinement. And they locked me up by my name being so big, I went to Brady for it. They put me on death row. You know, back to Brady for it, they got death row back. So I didn't go to the population right away because my name's so big, they saying that people had contracts on my life. I had it, this many people done this. So they, they put me on death row. So when I went on death row, I'm sitting, I'm on, I've never been to jail. So I'm, on, I'm locked down all day long. So even when you come out, when you come out, they got you chained up, you take a shower, you butt nigga in the chain on death row. That's because they had me out of their stash. And that was no joke. And, they, and I ain't never been locked up, so you mad what's going through my head. But all praise to the Lord, man. I'm here now to teach y'all, let y'all brothers know that you know, you know, I, like I said, I know a lot of y'all don't have you know, your father's family might be around. You know, some of them is around. You know what I mean? They might be in your life. A lot of times, this is what you get lost from. Because you don't have nobody to get this up, you this this and that. But take heed when you got older brothers like his. And give them your advice. Hey, you know what I mean, you're going to make mistakes. This is life. But, you know, get up and say, listen, man. Yo, I, I ain't going to And learn from it.